Hello, it's Aga from Marvis Artis, and today we're going to talk about the basics of materials. In this video, I'm going to discuss the basic parameters of the materials, so let's start. I've prepared a simple scene with the teapots and boxes. I select the front teapot as this is the object I will be working with today. I'll be using Corona Renderer. However, I'll be showing you the basics of materials for both Corona Material and the Viri Material. I am able to do this as Corona Renderer is able to render Viri materials as well. Let's apply the material to the teapot. This is why I needed to select the teapot before. Here are the basic parameters of the Corona Material. In Corona Material, in most cases, you can notice level and color. We'll start with the diffuse, which defines the color and pattern of the object. If we change a color here, we'll change the color of our object. We can control colors by moving different sliders as well, that are responsible for different characteristics of the color. If you don't know how colors work, watch my video on this topic. I put the link in the corner. We're also able to pick the color. For example, we can click on the object in the scene and the color will be picked from the part we've chosen. Here we can change the level of the diffuse. When we reduce a level value, it's like getting rid of a color. So level zero means pure black color. There is no such a pure black color in nature. The BMW created the paint that was near to total light absorbing material. What do you think? It doesn't look natural, right? So unless you want to create this effect, don't use pure black color. So in general, as I said before, don't use pure black color. If you want to achieve black, use something between 5 and 20, but never zero. The same situation is with poor white, so use something not higher than 200. Okay, so let's set the blue color for instance. Okay, now let me show you how it works in the V-Ray material. Let me apply the V-Ray material to the teapot so we can see the changes. So here, we have the panel responsible for diffuse. We don't have levels here, we have only color. The same as in Corona, we can set the color we want. Let's go back to a corona material. Let me assign the corona material again. Reflection panel, as the name says, controls the reflection of the material. We can control it by level parameter and we can control it by color. The value zero means that we have pure black color, so it's no reflection at all. If we leave level one, we use color to control reflection. So now I be controlling reflections by color. So the pure white color is fully reflective and pure black, no reflection at all. We can use different colors of reflections. We use yellow reflections, for instance, to create gold material. There are two kinds of reflections, metallic and non-metallic. It's pretty straightforward. So metallic reflections occur in metals and non-metallic in others. Easy, right? So in non-metallic materials, the more parallel to the view is the reflection, the more intense it is. So here, for example, the reflections are weaker than in this part, which is almost perpendicular to us. I use the frame buffer for a moment to show you this more clearly. So I have a reflection pass here, which gives a true representation of the reflections in the scene. I'm sure you can notice that more towards these edges, the more intense reflections. This effect is controlled by Fresnel IR most of the time. So when we create materials as wood, plastic, we leave this value as default. If we want to make metal, the value should be higher. In metallic materials, all reflections have the same intensity. The rule is that if we create metal materials, we should have the diffuse color set to black. So let me change it first. If we want to create metal material, we should increase this value. 
metals with higher fresnel IOR value will appear brighter. Now, we get the mirror material because the value is set really high. Glossiness controls how pure the reflections are, so if we go towards zero, objects are getting more matte. When we go towards one, the object is less glossy. Let's go back to default Fresnel IR settings. Let's change the diffuse to some color. So in this case, it's a third of the plastic material. We can control how reflective it is now. Now, let me show you where to control it in V-Ray. Let's apply V-Ray material. We can control reflectivity by changing the color. So pure black color means no reflection at all. Pure white, fully reflective material. We can also use some colors in reflections. Let's set it to white for now. If we click here, we unlock the option to change personal IR. For non-metallic materials, we mostly leave it as it is. If we want to make metallic material, we increase this value. 100 is the highest value here. The same as in Corona, we should change diffuse to black if we want to create metal. Then we have glossiness value, so the value towards zero makes material more matte, while value one means fully reflective material. We can go back to the default settings here, which is 1.6, and create some colorful plastic by changing the diffuse color. And we can control how glossy the material is here. All good so far? I hope so. Let's go back to the Corona material. I set the glossiness value to 1 so we can discuss the refraction which control transparency of the object. Again, we can control it by levels and color. Level 0 means that pure black is used, so no refraction at all. Level 1 takes 100% of the color, which is white in this case, so it creates fully transparent material. More towards the black, it's getting less and less transparent. And finally, black means no transparency at all. To create clear glass, we should also set the diffuse to black. Here we go, we have basic clear glass material. Now we have IOR value. IOR is different to different materials, but most of the time we leave it as it is. If we need to, we can check these values online. And as in the reflection, we can control glossiness value. It controls the sharpness of refractions. A value of 1 means perfect glass-like refractions. Lower values instead produce blurry or glossy refractions. So if we go down with this value, it will create the milky glass effect. You can take a look here to observe how the material is changing. Let me quickly create a simple corona material to another teapot. I choose some intense color so it's easier to see how it works. Awesome! My preview is not updated for some reason. We can update it manually by right-clicking and choosing the update preview option. So you can see how it affects refractions. If the value is small, the refractions are blurry and we cannot really see the teapot behind. However, when we go towards value 1, it's getting more sharp and we can see the teapot more clearly. Now, let me show you where to control it in V-Ray. Here we can control refractions. Black means no refractions, white, full refractions. Here we can set IR, the same as in the Corona, we leave it as default most of the time. And we can control glossiness here, the same way as in the Corona. The lower the value, the more blurry the refractions will be. 
Except changing values and colors, we can also add some maps. So we can use different sorts of maps. We can choose a checker, for instance. We can plug it to all the different slots. Let's start with diffuse. I need to turn off refractions to see the results. So you can see that instead of color, we use the checker map. We can plug it to different slots. Let's start with diffuse. We can edit maps. Here, for instance, we can change the colors. We can mix the effect with all the other options I've shown you before. So, for instance, we can make it more matte. Let's use another checker. We can plug it now to the reflection slot, for instance. Let's plug the same map to the diffuse slot so you can see clearly how this map works in reflections. So in the parts where there is black color, we have no reflections. Where it's white, we have fully reflective material. So you can notice that in the red parts, the teapot is matte, while in blue, it is really reflective. So we can adjust these maps in different ways and create various materials. We can adjust it to be gray, for instance, here. So in this part, it will be a bit map, but not totally matte. We can do the same for refractions. To plug the map to the specific slot, we can also create this yellow point here and drag the line and drop to the square next to the specific characteristic. If we have letter M next to it, it means that the map is plugged. But to make it work, we need to make refractions value to 1. So the map works instead of color. We control the refractions by map. Now, it's only transparent in the white parts of the map. The same in V-Ray. We can plug maps to different slots. I plug the same maps for correct slots. So diffuse map. Reflection map. And at the end, a refraction map. Easy, right? I want to show you one last thing. I delete these maps. Go back to the corona material. We can also add bitmaps, which we lose the most often. Let's say some more to diffuse texture. We need to plug it to the diffuse slot. However, I need to turn off transparency first. Let's plug it now. So we can adjust reflections and we have a wood material. Come back to V-Ray material again. The same for V-Ray. The bitmap is plugged to the diffuse slot and we can adjust the reflection by changing the color to something more gray. Okay, that's it for a moment. I don't want to overwhelm you. I hope all is clear and you're going to test it by yourself. I know that it may sound like a lot now, but I guarantee you that after a while it will be pretty easy for you. Now, if you want to get a complete set of skills, not only the materials, but the whole process of creating visualizations, you may be interested in our training dedicated for beginners. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!